far but no one's around so maybe you can just mess around. <laughs> Make sure the link oh. But we're live, it's uh, Twitch is live. Okay, well Oh wait wait, we need to spam people. That's what he does. Yeah. And okay, then, uh, we'll spam real quick. Yep, alright. Help help me spam. Oh, what's going on, Pingzo? We will be getting going here momentarily. Uh, Mr. Bottleneck M4 is uh, slowing us down yet again. Pingzo! Who has the balls to do the everyone? Not it. That'll be Hawkeye, I guess. We need, like, we should get Boom, because he's on, like, a thousand DCL discords. Oh, it's not about that. It's just who has the, the onus to, you know, tag everyone. <laughs> I can't do it in Zuzu server, but did it in Joker server, so... Hey, look at that. The boy subscribed. Thanks, the boy. There's a the boy sighting. Oh, yeah, that, that Wonder One I picked new. It's cool, right? Yeah, very cool. It's like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Wonder Woman. Probably should advertise that we have a special guest. Uh, people like surprises. I suppose. I'm really excited for this siege, though. I'm having my RB4 Savitar run wild. Prove all oh, yeah. the naysayers wrong. Yeah. They're, they're, they're known as truth sayers, actually. <laughs> those, those RB4 mosquito bites. Yep. <laughs> Like, you know what, we just... Do you, do you guys want to add a few more tunes? Uh, cause because of Coliseum, I just realized how crappy uh, Plastic Man is. Where is he? <laughs> you know, you might say that. Like, I don't think he's that bad. Mm. You know who was great for Coliseum? You want to know who was great for Coliseum? Who? Adam. 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah, I use him a little bit. I use Superman on every team. Basically, yeah. It was like Adam, Vixen, um, Manhunter, and Adam. I, I hate to break it to you guys, but Coliseum is not the best um, way to judge, unfortunately. Um, cause oh, what, tunes... what's better? Just guessing like hate mail does? Yeah. I, I mean, it's about as accurate as using Coliseum. I mean, you aren't dealing with a lot of the problem tunes in the meta, so... It, it, it doesn't really make a ton of sense to... I mean, you got to put some C and Trash tunes to work. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it's great to show tunes off, but... Uh, Coliseum, I mean, it's fun. It's a great great mode, but it's just not a good indicator of endgame PvP. No. I'm still saying Adam was great. At the end. Who hacked the boy's Twitch account to show up for today's tier list episode? I have no idea. Because he doesn't play the game anymore, so there's no way he'd show up for this. Well, he did play. He played to look in the DOL. That's when he comes out of his hole. Did he really play, or did he just rant? I missed the rant. <laughs> there's more rant. He did play, but is there, right. is he there, is there a clip? Is there a clip? The whole, the whole run was a... Rant fest. Okay, so no highlights. So it was just one two-hour highlight. All right. <laughs> I don't think it lasted two hours. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he lost pretty fast. Uh, <laughs> thanks, in in his defense, I like, do think it's kind of easy sometimes now to rant about DCL. <laughs> well, the boy usually takes the easiest route possible in DCL, so that makes sense. It has its ups and downs, which I think we should start officially since people are around and we're all here. So, Burger, take it away. 
Cool. So what is up, everybody? Thanks for uh, joining us as we kind of talk about some rework tunes, some uh, new tunes, some stat boosts, and just some others that uh, we think should be kind of shifting around the tier list. Um, so as always, we have M4. Hello, everybody. We have Hawkeye. Hi, everybody. We have Almost. What's happening, everybody? And then we have a special guest today. Oh, wait, wait. I thought the special guest couldn't make it. That's why we have Dill. <laughs> He's no, a very special guest. You're special to me, Doom. But, Doom, what's up? Uh, not much. You know, I just figured uh, I might as well give you guys some entertainment on this thing since, you know, otherwise it's super dry. Thanks, Doom. We appreciate it. Perfect. <laughs> Um, so Doom, uh, so just in case some of the people out there, you know, may, maybe this is the first time, you know, they've, they've uh, you know, interacted with you and stuff. So tell us a little bit, you know, how long you've been playing DCL, um, what's your know, alliance, all that, all those fun things. Uh, sure. So I'm Doom. I used to make guides and then I retired and then I came out of retirement and then I retired again and then I ran the Reddit and then I retired again. And now here I am. I'm a washed up has been. You don't really need to know anything else. So what if you had, if, let's say you could have any superpower you, you want, what would it be? Uh, the that ability works. to mm, probably control the vibration quotient of any object because that's just a stupid busted power in itself from the variety that you get out of it. Otherwise, you know. I don't know, flying, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Maybe that. Maybe if uh, the developers are listening, maybe they can uh, make a tune that, that does, what do you say, the control the vibrational frequency of, of an object? Yeah, I mean, you yeah, know, whatever. <laughs> there you go. Anyways, yes, hello, everybody. And he said we were dry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure that people have the right idea coming into this on what everyone else is going to be like. So, you know, I got to prep them, set the energy. There you go. Well, thanks for thanks for joining us today. We look forward to uh, your feedback and uh, and everything that you give on, on the new tunes. So uh, if anybody first time listening, uh, this is generally what we do is we'll all take turns kind of uh, giving a little bit of feedback on some certain tunes. Uh, we rank them on a score of S tier down to T tier, uh, which is trash. And and generally, like the way that we're judging this is, hey, if, the, if you have an L5 tune, fully geared, um, level 80, um, and then, you know, how they would perform in standard PvP matches. And so generally, we try to, we try to judge everybody off that. There are some tunes that you might say, hey, they're great, and they're great for raid, um, they're great in a certain siege, um, and so you wanna tr really judge this on, hey, if you had in standard PVP matches, how, how would they perform at L5? Um, and so, so again, as we give these scores, that's generally how they're going, and S tier is best of the best, you know, in some cases they will take over a match and run things on their own, all the way down to T tier, where you're like, "Why would I ever do this?" I even if I like the tune, um, they have nowhere belonging in any roster unless you're trying just to be the first one to lose. Um, and so, yeah, so that kind of gives a quick overview. And so, with that, we are going to start off with our two new tunes of the month, and we will go with uh, Ted Cord Blue Beetle first. So Burger, you need to ask who's our tune of the month first, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's let's do that. So who's who's everybody's tune of the month? We'll go with uh, almost first. Oh man, that was a toss up uh, between the two Beatles for me. Um, and I would have to say it was more Ted for me, but Jaime was just like right right there along him. You know, I, I like I, I use Ted in like almost every match once I had him geared. Um, and he was effective unless there was a KOA on the other team because then he couldn't get that uh, team wide stun and therefore it was kind of useless and it got spicy for me a few times. But uh, I really like Ted, I like how he ramps, I mean, it's hard, 
It's got a lot of cool things in his kit. So that was my tune of the month. Okay. What about you, Hawkeye? It, I was in the same boat as uh, as almost was, unfortunately. Um, I went back and forth a lot between uh, Blue Beetle and Ted Cord. Uh, ultimately, I settled on Ted Cord. Uh, once he gets that stun in, it's just kind of game over, and it's hard to come back from that. Yeah, that's a two-turn stun. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's okay, a- M4. Uh, hands down, the best tune of the month is Jaime. However, the tune of the month for me is Ted, just because of how effective he was in Siege. Just if you get that uh, stun out, it's 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 game over. Like, there's nothing they can do. So yeah, definitely Ted for tune of the month. Okay, and then Doom. What about you? I mean, I feel like I'm kind of repeating what a lot of people are saying here. That stun is an absolute game changer. But for me personally, given the comps that I run are a little more unconventional, I actually found Jaime to be a lot better for me. He gave me a lot of offensive power where my team was lacking. So I thought he did pretty good. Yeah, and look, like I, so I ended up not, um, once they kind of made those seeds changes and nobody really saw them right away, um, you know, I was kind of like, hey, I'm just going to, you know, have tinker around a little bit this siege. So, you know, I wasn't as competitive. So my vote probably doesn't go as far as some of the other guys. Right. But I I mean, when I did play, um, you know, Jaime, I mean, hands down, like I when he when he was working correctly, you know, in between having a couple bug issues and everything. Right. Like he he I mean, he's a badass. Like I could see him being in, you know plugging into most teams and just, you know, letting it fly, you know, pretty consistently. So, yeah, I mean, he, I, I really enjoyed the him after he had like, what is like seven, three work. Um, and I think third in the month. Um, but yeah, no, he, uh, he, he stands out to me, but obviously we're what three to two. So two of the tune of the month is Ted. Okay, and so let's kind of jump in on individual feedback for all the tunes. And uh, so first up, we'll keep it going with Tune of the Month, uh, Ted Cord. So it looks like everybody kind of voted him A, um, all of us. But Doom, what what are your thoughts? What do you vote? Oh, uh, easy A. Easy, easy, high A even, honestly. If being completely frank, I would consider slotting him over a good amount of other people. Okay. Anybody have any big things that kind of stand out, Ted, that they want to talk about? I think we kind of hammered it home pretty well, I feel like. Yeah, it's mainly just like those those crit chance ups will stack really nicely. Um, You know, the the, um, the hit chance downs too, that is also really cool. yeah, I don't know. And then, of course, like, team-wide stun immunity. That's dope. You know what? I didn't take that because it pisses off Jaime. <laughs> I <clears throat> took that after Siege. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't take it because if you, your team buffs Jaime, just jump, leapfrogs everyone, and then just, you know, wrecks your team. Especially that that dies from Jaime's AoE when he's ramped. So I only yeah, took that, like, last week. There were times I actually brought in um, Mongol, just especially if there was uh, an ice on the other team. Oh yeah, I just she surprises me how good she is sometimes. Yeah, and he's got her RB five, and he's not here. Oh, he doesn't know how to use her anyway. So, <laughs> oh god. Um, okay, so let's talk about the other new tune. Um, so Superman doomed. It looks like everybody, for the most part, has him at B, except for Hawkeye. So, Hawkeye, you want to kind of walk everybody through what your thoughts are? Yeah, I went into this month after seeing his kit, thinking that he was just going to be kind of complete and utter garbage. I, I'm never a big fan of uh, tunes that do damage to themselves. Um, but he really surprised me. I mean... He stays 
constantly near full health um, if you're using him properly. Um, if you give him a little bit of support, he's just a ramp monster. He does tons of damage. Um, you know, he's got a good solid buff move. He's got an AOE that does uh, just massive damage to reds and greens. I uh, was really blown away, and uh, I was expecting him to be a C tier tune this month, and uh, just everything he did, I was uh, really impressed with. So I, I went with A for him. Okay. And Doom, what would you vote him at? Um, actually, even though you would think, oh, Doombox, Doomsday stuff, easy peasy, he's going to vote at S tier. I actually think he's a B tier, too. Uh, unfortunately, the fact that he does need that little bit of support, I find, is something that's kind of a really hard thing to do when you're working through, like, I can only fit one character in here. I'm not going to fit the guy that needs support. On top of that, while he does stay at full health a lot, I really just don't find him to be more impactful than a lot of other characters that could be taking up that spot. So he's a B for me. Yeah. You know, I, so I, uh, obviously I, I, I got him early. Um, and I, I like him. And I do think there's times where he can hit really hard, but I have literally had, I mean, probably not a ton of matches, but I bet three or four matches where like I'm sitting there and he like absorbed a few hits and I'm looking at it like, hey, I'm going to have to use his one right now. And he's going to kill himself. Um, and, and it happened. And so, like, like having it where he's causing himself so, like, damage um, in this way, like, I mean, I get it. Like, why it happens and, you know, and all that and how it kind of fits a little bit into his comic lore and stuff. But, um but yeah, I mean, I, to me, I, I think he's B. I mean, it, and everybody voted B, so we have four to one. Um, so he is going to be a B B tune, but you know, almost M four. Anything you guys want to add? I do have a question about his lore. Uh, this 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 things that are sticking out of him. They're supposed to be bone, right? Yeah, just like uh, just like okay. the other Doomsday. Okay, can you explain to me why two of these so called bones are moving? <laughs> You see those two small ones on his, off his shoulder? They're kind of like wriggling. <laughs> no, I have not seen that. What the, what the heck's going on here? Dang uh, it, you're, 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 you can't just stare at another man's bone like that. Come on now. Uh, I, yeah, I maybe he's feeling it, inadequate. Maybe he's feeling inadequate, M4. I mean, I don't know. M4 is wiggling at you. <laughs> I didn't notice until now. I was because I was turning him around, you know, while we're doing the podcast, and then like, what the heck is going on with that bone? But anyway, I think it would have been Maybe better he's... if he was a tank. This this problem is not the damage; it's because he ramps pretty fast. If he could take hits better out of the gates, I think he could have been an A. But right now, he's a good damage dealing B green. But that's pretty much it, and those are time a dozen. So. Yeah, that's where he's going to be a B. For so, sure. One of the things, I just figured to mention, of course, like he's our, what, our second self-damaging tune along with Raven, right? There actually are a lot of really interesting synergies that go through that, like how they can trigger Asriel on your turn and things like that. Yes. So I feel like if there's more characters who require your characters to get damaged that can be enabled, he could move up as like a weird yes. kind of pseudo support thing but otherwise yeah. yeah he's it's just a dollar short in my opinion right his teammates do not exist yet they also may be down the road yes i agree with that okay uh, so now uh let's talk about our lone rework for the month which was uh, blue beetle jaime reyes um and so for all intents and purposes we're going to talk about his second rework and how it within the month and how he turned out after that. Um, and so it looks like everybody kind of has him at A tier. Uh, <coughs> Doom, what uh, what would you vote him at? No question, A tier. This The glow up on this man. Mm, chef's kiss. I like that skin too. Oh yeah, this is, this is nice. really good. Oh yeah, and the artwork that they redid during on the loading screens, like it. Um, I, I definitely like him, and you know what? It goes along well. Like his his movie had great reviews, and um, it seems like I mean, obviously it didn't make the money at the box office, but you know it 
it, it seems like everybody that that you know watched the movie liked it, and everybody that played with him in DCL liked it. So so it went went well together. Um, anybody have any big takeaways from his kit? Any anybody that you guys think that he works well with? If they're trying to build a team with them, Detective yes. Chip. Hmm. I was oh, going to say question, but Detective Chimp works too. And anyone on your team that can buff the enemy, you know, works well with Jaime because you you're not not dependent on the enemy buffing because you can force them to buff. So Riddler kind of works too because uh, he also puts the taunt on the enemy, but he's a little slower. Um, Q is just really good at triggering him. Uh, the one reason I don't think he's an S, he could have been close, uh, is that, that he's not consistently buffing. If that were 100%, he might be broken good. Like, he'd be, like, S tier easy. Okay, yeah, still big, big jump. I mean, he was trash before. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, trash to, to A tier, you know, nice. But yeah, the unanimous, so he'll end up A tier on the month. Um... After it took that best to, you know, it took two years because he he had a what was like an OP rework, and then they nerfed him, and then it was just like okay, we can't use him. So it, it took two and a half years, and we finally got a decent beetle now. So, oh yeah, for sure. And now we're uh, so we'll hit some of the siege bonus tunes that we had last month. And so uh, first one uh, we have flatline. So uh, looks like almost hot guy M4 and myself uh, have her at A. Uh, Doom, what about you? Yeah, I'd have her at A too. She's pretty good. Okay, so she's definitely moving up from B where she was before. Um, so you know, hot guy M4, you know, walk us through why you guys think you know she jumped up from B before to a now i'll let hawkeye go first well i was just gonna say she is a tune that's kind of perpetually between high a low or low a high b um and I, I just think that this was a siege where she definitely had more of a chance to shine um she dealt with barda so so well um also dealt with nubia keeping her from building up uh, uh awarenesses if you were seeing her at all um, so she was just able to just dig right through Barda, even the RB5 Bardas that are running around. Um, she was just able to deal with them so expertly that, you know, you kind of had to bump her up to A, I feel like, this month. M4, you were going to say something? That. I agree with that. And also, Windy Grew has a very nice point in chat that uh, her asset is arguably bugged. Yeah. And when this frost, it just heals the enemy team. Like, they are swimming in bleeds. That also contributes to her being an AD tier. But if this gets fixed, maybe she goes down to B. I don't know. But yeah, this definitely contributes to her being really good. Yeah, you know, so I, obviously I've had her R before since she came out. Mm -hmm. um, I totally agree. Like, her, like, she was nuking Barda. Um, it didn't really matter RB5 Varda versus my RB4 like she was just wiped out um, but you know I will say like I bet she was probably on 85% of the siege matches that I played and I bet her the bleeds doubled and, and hit the team maybe three times like, it just was not happening often for me at all. Um, and so, but yeah, I mean, but when it does, you're right. I mean, like, the team could easily just melt at that point. Probably kills way too fast for you. Yeah. That's why, that's why you get less of the procs, because they tend to die when they get hit by your flat line. Well, there were some times where I was like, hey, I'm just going to hit, you know, this Mystic tune just so that way I, I can try to throw, start throwing these things around and... Yeah, it would it was not uh it was just not procking my way. Uh, but yeah, so she moves from B to A tier. Um, anybody else um, have anything they want to add about Flatline or think there's any great team comps if anybody's listening and like, 
hey, I, I want to use Flatline more, you know, who, who we should plug in with her? I mean, you could use a great, and like if you do a bleed disease team, that would just be pretty nasty. Yeah. I like yeah. using her with like under Red Hood. Oh, yeah. So like, that way, like if she does happen to nuke somebody, like obviously his passive kicks in and um, but yeah, okay. Well, let's go to Nubia. So Nubia, Vengeful, Amazon. Uh, so she was a B tier prior uh, to this month. It looks like uh, the community has her at C. Um, Hawkeye and almost have her at C. I concur. I think she's a C. Um, Doom, what would you take her at and why? Uh, I'm actually going to sit this one out. I don't really have her built up, so I don't want to give a wrong opinion here. Hmm. Okay. And before, you took, you have her as B, so yes. what's your thoughts? Uh, she has two redeeming qualities. One, she's relatively fast, has a stun, and kind of can enrage, which is the rage these days. Uh, and then also, she has this great survivability because of that uh, oh, the, the, awareness, yeah. the awareness that she constantly gets. And sometimes if uh, she goes sideways, you can rely on her to solo the enemy team if they don't have a means to deal with that. So she she does have a redeem, those redeeming qualities. That's why I don't why want to lump her along with those other C tier tubes. But yeah, she's gonna be like at the bottom of the map for that B there. But I'm not quite ready to throw her in the C C pop uh, C tier. You know, I I just think she's been, you know, with a lot of the new tunes that have come out, like she's just kind of power crept a little bit. You know, like I oh definitely like if you had her, like you know, you would think like an L five physical tune. Like I would not be certain at all that even. I mean, gr- granted, like the awareness is nice and maybe enraging it helps you get a little lucky but i would not be very confident if i had her one-on-one versus most or maybe all mystical tunes that she would be able to take somebody out so that's that's a big thing for me yeah i just don't see really any damage with her yeah Um, that's yeah yeah it's when i use her a couple of times under afro just to give her some play but I, I couldn't see her using her in any like full bonus masters matches really you know yeah i mean and that yeah. was one thing i think that definitely hurt her this siege is uh the the bonus tunes this month were excellent uh, across the board um so i don't think that she found her way into a lot of teams just because of that um mm-hmm. so I, I i think that you know she's a tune that could very well bounce back in a in a month that didn't have such uh, such great tunes to work with, uh, you know, and it didn't help that you know Ted Core is one of the best tunes this month. Uh, a green that kind of just eats her up. Um, you have Flatline that eats her up. So it, it just was not a good month for Nubia. Uh, the thought just wasn't there. I think as far as what she added. Okay, so. The next siege bonus was Barda. She was A every time we voted on her prior. Uh, we have right now, it looks like we all have her at B. Community has her at A. Uh, Doom, what are your thoughts on Barda? My disgust at you people is unfathomably large. How dare how dare now mind you in this siege i get it because with all the people that are running around and kind of mowing you down i completely so you think she should be a c i guess i she should (laughs) stay an a but i'm obviously biased i have a very 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 high affinity when it comes to these big ladies but honestly bardo incredibly solid tune amazing person to have in pocket Outside of the gigantic, powerful, like massive, oh, I'm going to swing through your character greens, I feel like she holds her own very well. Now, mind you, obviously, she is a little power crept 
coming in that more and more people are doing tons of damage and her lack of a turn one immunity kind of hurts a lot but she is a character that's a lot like supergirl in a lot of ways where it's like okay yeah but if you don't kill her immediately and she pops off you're gonna have a really really bad time and she can become a point where the match is halfway over you have half your team left and you just can't put her down so i think that b is an absolute crime she is way better than i would say the top of b she's, she's a, shoulders above them she's a t in that bombshell skin yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can, can i don't have the bombshell skin you no. think she's still an A tier when she's this short? No, <laughs> absolutely not. If she's that short, she's a C. She belongs to the streets. But right. when she's tall, easy A, in my opinion. All right. I, I have some... I, they don't disagree with Doom. However, the, the dudes that she counters, you know, the ones that can't deal with her, are the 2020 dudes. Any dude that are more recent just has no problem disposing of uh, Barda. Even the more recent blues, like... Granted, they're all great, like Trigons, Monkey Prince, they think, well, maybe not Monkey Prince, but, you know, they, uh, what's her name, uh, or their name, Stitch, like, they have no problem dealing with Barda, and they are blues, so she's horrendously power crap, maybe the way, the reason ours kind of survive is because she's RB5, but L5, I'm sure she's even going to survive, even less. Okay, and well, even in, in the fairness, siege, in fairness. Ahead. By frame of comparison, Stitch, Trigon, a lot of these blues handle most characters. Like, that's not an entirely genuous assessment of her capabilities because it's like, yeah, she's a red tank. I get that she shouldn't be dying to blues, but these are literally blues that dismantle every character yeah. in the game almost without effort. Yeah, but so, the, the I don't know. Strong red tank cannot deal with them, then what chance do the other, yeah, right? So. I mean, I feel like it's a matter of if it's not a first hit, hey, this character's down, you run the risk of the match falling completely out of your hands. And that doesn't sound like a beach or tune to me. I mean, I felt fortunate that she procked a lot for me this stage. So I was tempted to keep her at A, but mainly the power creep is what, you know, why I decided on B. There are so many matches, I couldn't bring her in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, hey, it's y'all's list. That's fine. I know that she was carrying my teams through a lot of matches, just, you know, making my line solid. But again, I run a bit Yours more of the unconventional too, right? teams. Yeah, right. mine's RB5. Yours, of course Yours is RB5 too, right? At L5, I, I doubt you can pull the same stunt now. Yeah, I mean, so She's... mine's only RB1. And I thought about, like, hey, for Siege, should I take her RB4? And then I was like, eh, it's not going to really do a lot for her. And, and look, She's... like, she does... I mean, there are times where you see her passive proc and you're like, oh shit, like this is going to make others around her annoying, not her. Like, I'm not like, oh shit, like her passive procs, like, like it's it, like she's all like trying to make everybody else around her better. But I mean, again, like, like you're not like, there's so many ways to handle her. Like, I mean, stun wrecks her, like disease bleeds. You know, hard hitting greens. There's so many ways to deal with her now. Like, there's never a time where I see Barda and I'm like, oh shit, what am I going to do to prepare for that? Like I, I just, said, fair enough. Whatever team is in my lineup, I throw it out there and that's it. She had fantastic success for me. And again, I feel like conceptually, she shouldn't be a B tier tune. But at the same time, y'all have made your points and they're very valid points. I agree with pretty much all of them. I personally don't feel it, but yeah, at L5 maybe not going to be as capable so yeah. yeah well b's not bad i mean b's just hey like you know they they probably need some support around them if you're yeah, going to win a match uh -huh. yeah. right she's like, not that it became worse there's just so many better tunes than her now and if you want a red tap you're probably gonna go to jace now not uh -huh. Barda. you see that's oh. what they said about c tier when giganta was in there and look at where she is now i'm saying it's Fresh. a slippery slope i don't trust you owls <laughs> um perfect so hey what other tunes do you like let's vote on those real quick i mean you've already put like two favorite people in the trash tier what more do you want from me well, i guess superwoman's the only other one that i actually care about 
Mm. Great for um, Rains. <laughs> cool. So let's move on to the next Siege bonus tune, uh, Brainiac. So he was A last time we voted. Uh, community has him at A. Um, looks like... Um, okay, so we have a kind of a mixed vote between us. We have uh, two with A, which are M4 and almost. And then two with B, uh, with myself and Hawkeye. Uh, so, Doom, you are the, uh, you're the tiebreaker. Ooh. <laughs> mm. <Brother laughs> my vote. I know them right, right now. <laughs> Make your vote count. <laughs> oh, I know what okay. this is going. I can just hear it. So, <laughs> Go ahead, this character doesn't even belong in B. Doesn't even belong in A. This character is so freaking just absolutely awful. I hate this character. Not because he's good, but because he is the most gassed up overrated character in this game hands down bar none brainiac is a glorified c tune and that is 100 percent correct i would put him mid c he has one good thing about him and everything else is garbage he maybe possibly might stun a taunter twice great fantastic good that's like bane's number three yeah where's bane at oh yeah c tier or wait there's even trash tier now i don't even know uh, let's see, what else does he do? He has a basic that does no damage, puts on a shield on a paper-thin body. Uh, he has a two, which you're never going to press. He gives your team a little bit of turn meter. Only good thing about him. His leader ability, you're never putting him in leader. Don't even talk to me about that. Don't even bring it up. Because the last time someone did, I almost skinned them alive and used their skeleton as a mantelpiece. That is the most BS argument So sounds like ever. you're going A tier? No, B tier. Low, 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 (laughs) low B tier. Brainiac is a character that honestly should be lower, but by the graces of the fact that I don't want to be a Scrooge and say that he actually belongs in C, I'll put him at the very bottom end of B tier. Because this character (laughs) needs a rework, needs another stat boost. This man needs the Blue Beetle treatment. Because outside of that meter, you will never touch him. I'm just so going to say, say plain and simple, he's not better than Grail. I used him in lead almost every single Siege match. Um, so I did use him in lead then. But, yeah, I mean, like, I, I do think there is a little bit, and for a while you saw a lot of tunes. There was a lot of, you know, retaliation, you know, the out of turn, all that. And so there are some... That I mean, and who knows? Like, I mean, this coming siege, we have Azriel in there, and so you know, who knows? Like, if, if he kind of po- starts popping in as as lead, but I, mean, I don't disagree. I think you know he's B. You know, he's he is a little power crept. Uh, a little. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. it, he's not gonna he's not gonna take anybody out. I mean, his his three does hit pretty hard um, at times, and you know, L five to L five, it could it could do, especially if it double hits. They could absolutely take out a, a physical tune if, if you hit it uh, and it, they proc twice. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I do agree. I, again, I think he's B, um, but let's hear from the, the counter argument, almost an M4. You guys voted A. So what do you guys I mean, thought? I, I just think about how much he brings to a team, whether it's, it's he, as a leader or he, as or, He, he mean, brings like, one yeah, thing to a team almost. One thing. One thing. It's good. It's good enough. It is. Yeah, sure, it's good enough. One thing to bring him. But that doesn't mean he should be above B tier. I don't know. Well, here's the thing. I I would agree that his uh, active moves has a lot to be left a lot to be desired, right? They, Mm -hmm. they, They don't do a lot of damage. The proc rates are terrible. However, he brings what he brings to the table with his passive is that it, it no other tune does this. Gives you fifteen percent turn meter or any turn meter turn zero, off fleet. Nobody else can do this. Just him. And there's a reason that you see him all the time with atrocities just to go first. And if you really want to go first, he's the best at doing it because people are brain dead. Same. Yes. Yeah, that's one thing. What else does he bring? All right, as a leader, I mean, 
that 15 percent third meter is like mm -hmm. the and as a leader he can stop uh wonder girl that yep. also gives your team shields like what uh jaime needed in the siege yeah. so it's not complete trash so yeah. i i could argue his lowest ceiling is probably like yeah i don't know maybe oh not the floor is probably b but yeah just just by virtue alone of giving your your team high third meter without being in the leader spot just this just just an a for me so so can we all agree basically he is the energy male counterpart of barda at this point basically doesn't hit hard does one thing well and stuns on the three no. The thing about Barda is that there are so many other tunes that does what she does, you know, bank, take hits, survive, you know, make the team better. What he does, nobody else can. That, that's my argument why he's so good. Yeah. It, it's The tier list is not how good you are, but how good you are relative to others on your job. And so, there's so, nobody so, else so, that can do his job. M4, let's just say that there's another tune that can do absolutely anything else. But also adds that turn meter off lead. Where would you put Brainiac mm -hmm. then? It depends. It probably at least B tier. Or maybe even C, depending on how good that tune is. Because if there's absolutely no reason to bring Brainiac over that other tune, then yeah, he sucks. Like Brainiac, so, you only bring to win the speed game. That's the only reason you bring Brainiac. Yeah. The and primary on top reason, of yes. that, you're basically so here's the thing right and here's why i see brainiac and why i think this character could even go to c but maybe properly maybe if i'm being generous belongs in b it's the fact that you are purposefully going into a match 3v4 just to make your other three tunes better which fine yeah if you're a one trick pony it's a good trick to have i'm not disagreeing with you there only good thing about his kit but does that do more outside of cheese <laughs> and just bringing a fourth character and the answer is always going to be no you bring him specifically to go first specifically to cheese out strat so that you can beat the other team before they get a chance to go that's why you're sacrificing that team slot a character who's functionally a 3v4 for your match is not a good tune it has one good move that happens to be useful if the other three characters on your team can carry him that's garbage that's absolutely awful like i could say oh yeah you know who's a fantastic character? Donna Troy. You know why? Because I could go Aqua Infinite with her. I could literally, quite literally, make it so that the other team never gets a turn. That character is trash. That character, Donna Troy, belongs in T tier. I pray we're voting on her so that I can put her there myself. <laughs> All right. There's another thing that he does very well. Uh, your team is uh, enraged in you. Oh, oh, thank God. So much rage being thrown away in this meta that I'm so happy to have a character that can make me enrage immune. Lord knows there's not a billion meta options for that. I wish that he actually did make your team enrage immune before Atrocitus put it on him. Then we wouldn't be in such a shitty meta. Yes. yes. That, yeah, I totally agree with that. But, like, here's the... All right, I know a, a lot of you don't play DOL, but if he really sucks, he is on it's almost everyone's roster because he has to be exactly my point <laughs> it, 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 he has to be it's not because he's good it's because he does one thing that nobody else does which makes him good right no no it doesn't, it doesn't. Him an tune. that makes him a good character and that would fit him into b where all the other niche pick tunes are but that's all he is he's a niche pick whose existence is justified by his own existence elsewhere that's the end of the conversation. I need more time to rant on Superman later for voting on him, so let's end this year. Fine. You're, you're the swing vote, and then we're going to be gracious guests, so he's going to end up in B. Yeah, we be here. That was spicy. Okay. <laughs> so next up, let's talk through Ice. Oh. Um, so she was A prior. Um, community has her at A. All of us four have her at A. Uh, Doom, what uh, what are your what are your thoughts on Ice? I put her right. <coughs> she has a really, really underestimated and good kit. I feel like. Well, I say underestimated. Everyone knows she's A, but like when you look at her kit, it doesn't look like that much on paper. But then when it's actually in practice, it's so good. Yeah. No. I, yeah. I agree. I, I think you know she she does a lot of things 
pretty well. And, you know, I, I think I kind of slept on her at first when, um, when she first came out, just cause I think I was so much more enamored with fire. Um, but you know, like playing with her some of the siege, you know, again, just kind of showed, yeah, you know, she's, she's a really solid tune, but, um, you know, almost Hawkeye M4, you guys have anything you want to add about her? I mean, she was the advantage for your team if there was a, if there was no Ted Cord on the other side. Definite. And, like, the passive stuns was just so annoying. Like, I'm in trouble many times this siege when I didn't have Ted or when those uh, stun immunities wore off. You know? I mean, that the the shield shielding for Beetle was key. Um, There's a lot of good things. I, I wish she healed more, but the shields make up for it. Yeah, she just does so many things, even just standing there. And mm-hmm. uh, her passive stunts, even when she's stunned, and then also... Um, I mean, you were spinning her around, man, and, and I got stunned for a second looking at her, so, hey. <laughs> Maybe that's why. That's how it that, works, right? that's, that's exactly what it does. Shows you the goods, you're stunned. Yes. Oh, and, and also at the Coliseum, she was amazing. She allows, she allowed me to use three bonus tools just by being there. Mm-hmm. Now I climb to top 25 <laughs> just using ice. <laughs> okay, so we have her saying A. So Bizarro, uh, prior to stat boost, Bizarro was C. We have, I didn't, I didn't vote on this one because I have not used him since the stat boost. Um, but we have M4, Hawkeye, and Almost all have him at B. Uh, Doom, what are your thoughts on Bizarro? I would actually agree with that. Bizarro was a character that was really lacking, but now that he got that little extra meat on him, he's surprisingly efficient at what he does. Now, I'm not going to put him above a lot of other, you know, tanks. Like, he's no Ultraman, but still, for what he does, he does it well. I'd say B is fair. Okay. Almost. I don't- uh, yeah. I am for you guys have anything you want to talk about him? Uh, I like I like it's like a, a good Swiss Army kit on him where you could kind of use any of those abilities at any time. Um, the stat boost definitely helped him. Um, I just wish he did more damage, but, but you know, a lot of good stuff in that kit. You can't miss stuns. Um, it helps if he's debuffed because then he could just, you know, just torture the other guys and do some real damage. It's, it's good. It, 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 I'd, I'd be curious about another rework with him, though. Yeah. My primary driver for him being on tier higher than before is the speed bump. So now you have this uh, st- uh, guaran- almost guaranteed stun. It right. It's fast. He's now 127. Did I do the math? Right? Uh, 129. 129. Was that's it? Oh, fast. yeah, 129. Yeah, that's, that's what really uh, convinced me that yeah okay a 129 stunner that you almost cannot stop outside of mongol and you know those dudes that have innate uh, stun immunity so yeah and then of, of course there's also this uh, debuff heavy meta which is favorable to him so those two things yeah made him a little bit more viable now so i think b is just right for him okay so it looks like he is uh, congratulations, Bizarre. You're moving up to uh, to B tier. Let's see. Larflees. Uh, so everybody, so he's B prior to stats boost. Uh, community had him as B. All of us threw him down as B. Um, before we asked Doom his his uh, what his thoughts are, uh, almost Hawkeye M4, you guys have anything you want to add about Larflees? Um, well, he still sucks in PvE. <laughs> You know, it's like he's going to do damage, but he's going to slow everything down. So that's that's the that's the only thing that sucks about him. Um, otherwise, it's I mean, ramps up great. Uh, love watching Deboya uses RB five when he gets a chance when the scheme's not dead, but he really smacks. Um, yeah. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. Yeah, he just does damage. Other than that, right? And it really didn't move the needle enough for him to move up to A. So yeah. he's still there. Still okay. has one of the best skins in the game. Actually, I 
I don't know. For once, I'm overrating him, I guess, because I considered him a low A tier at this point. Just the fact of how fast and offensive the meta has gotten, he has ample opportunities to get himself juiced up, which is a thing that I used to discount for because I was like, ah, you know, yeah, sure, people are dying around him, but not fast enough. But now I feel like he has enough just to barely squeeze over that line. Like, I think that his offensive power is something that you can't discount, obviously, if you're not killing him first then he really gets out of control with the fact that he's just gaining so much from anything dying on the field. And that purge all is still handy. So I don't know. I say A, but B is also fine. I would agree with that too. Yeah. I mean, he's still a glass cannon. So I think that's that's the thing. Yeah, I mean... Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Prior to the stat boost, I put him down to C multiple times, and you guys kept him B, so... Um, he, having to rely on deaths on your team to ramp uh, is always going to hold you back in my book. Uh, so that, that that's why I couldn't put Blair for Please any higher than B. Okay. So, uh, Larflees is remaining B tier. Uh, so next one, it looks like we have, may have another graduation. So Batwoman, Army of One, uh, was B tier prior. Community had her as A tier. Um, it looks like all four of us have bumped her up to A tier. Um, I know this is a tune that <clears throat> M4 uh, really likes. So M4, what are your what are your thoughts on that one? At RB5, she's S tier. Like, oh my god, how good she is now! Uh, she can finally do her job. And if she were a siege goddess tune, she's probably the tune of the month. Because <laughs> uh, that's her only problem she couldn't kill and she was like one of the best killing machines out there and it's easy to give her the double buffs given now we have nightwing play face right so i don't know what not to like about that so much he, her kit is is perfect i don't need to change it she was just missing the oomph she needed to do her job and now she got it no. okay doom what are your thoughts on that woman I think she's also, <coughs> the only problem with her is that she runs into somewhat of the same issue Shiva does, and that if there's someone in your way, you have to take them out first. But with how high her damage is now, that's not even an issue. She relishes in the idea of smacking into someone that's tanky and then just crushing them under her <coughs> five-inch heels. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, anyways, she's, yeah, she's an absolutely unreasonably strong tune right now. After that stat boost, basically any issue she had before, like M4 said, with any kind of potency, completely went out the window. She's an absolute dominating force now. And I, I don't know if it happens to you guys, but almost every single time she's on the other team, like, if I have any type of mystic tunes on there, like, I have to absolutely be like, how am I keeping the, her from getting to them? Because if there isn't a turn zero taunter, that's hopefully a energy tune. She's hitting that mystic tune nonstop. I don't know if you guys see that, but mm -hmm. it just she just like like other tunes. Like you're like, hey, hopefully she's not. Hopefully they're not targeting you know the the lower tune, and it's kind of like a toss up. But it seems like it's like ninety nine point nine percent of the time she's just slapping any. Any type of mystic tune that's on my on my team. So um, slapping mystic tunes, actually. Another thing to note: memory serving. Dawn stars faster than her, just barely. She is. So yes. you can give her that true sight, and she could just kill whoever she wants. Yep. Oh, yeah. Awarenesses. Yep. You can get to most every problem mm -hmm. because of Dawn star. Absolutely. So, so she so she's moving up to A tier. So again, congrats, Batwoman. Uh, so next up. Uh, we have Cheetah. I was really, really tempted to give Cheetah a C tier. I ended up leaving her B. Um, but, you know, this is... So she was B prior. Uh, community has her at A. It seems like all of us uh, kind of concur that, that she's B. Um, almost Hawkeye, M4, any, anything you guys want to add about Cheetah before we ask Doom? Uh, just don't let her die, which is almost impossible. Yeah. Yeah. She 
that stat boost really didn't help her uh, survive. <laughs> and also, she's too fast for her own good. And that's why Martian Manhunter is so much better than her because same 20%. But he stays out of the way of the dudes who want to go fast. He, on the other hand, like, hey, come here, get faster, but I'm still faster than you and I'm going to screw your turn order. I'm going to piss off the enemy and I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, doom. Oh, sorry. Go on. Okay. I was really, really close to putting her in uh, C tier as well. Um, she she struggles to stay alive, like you guys said. When they did a stat boost on her, I don't know why they just didn't take all that stat boost and just put it all on her health. Um, I think that probably would have been the right call. Um, you know, she dies to a Atro retaliation if you go after a, um, a, a Enraged Tune on his team. Even at RB1, it's a one-shot kill for a retaliation. That's uh, very, very bad. Yeah, I mean, it's, again, I mean, she's the definition of a B-tier to me. You have to have a lot of support around her um, in order to get the most out of her. Um and but Doom, what are what are your thoughts? I'm a little harsh here. I think she belongs in C tier, the top of C tier, but I think she belongs there because she's a lot like Brainiac, with the exception of the fact that Brainiac makes the other three characters on your team good, and he himself is garbage. She has the issue that she sabotages your team and is also garbage. Basically, everything that makes Brainiac bad, she also shares but she takes up a leader slot to do it and also completely botches everything. Like, she's the character, if, no joke, if they took her stat boost and then just nuked her speed down to, like, 80, she would be an infinitely better character. And that's no cap, as the kids say. She, I think she belongs in C, fully and honestly. I don't get why you guys kept her in B. Her wand redeeming quality, making Shiva hit harder. But then again, if Shiva gets the Batwoman tre- treatment, he doesn't need Cheetah either. <laughs> Yo, who cares about Shiva? You have Batwoman now. Like, Shiva belongs in garbage too. Now that Batwoman is there, her only job is to punch uh, Black Flash under Martian Manhunter, which is not a problem anymore. Yeah, her one niche right. in the meta is evaporated. Uh, it's gone. I'm going to be a gracious host, and I'm going to change my vote to see. Let's see if others follow. I mean, I was already yeah. got to do it. Uh, I, so. I'm i in on this, actually. Yeah, let's, do, let's roll. <laughs> is she the first one that got a stat boost and then got demoted? <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, so next up, this is one that actually does does hurt me. So Kilowog, I have you know one of my RB fours. Um, He's an RB five. Big, yeah, a big fan of the of the character. You know, would absolutely lean on him regularly prior, but um, yeah. So he was A before community had his B. We've all gone to see um you know hawkeye m4 almost anything you guys want to say it's it's because of the bug yeah Once yeah he's fixed he's gonna go back to his uh rightful spot at the eight tier like especially yeah. now that he's gonna hit a lot harder yeah, and windigris has been pushing like every day it seems just to like try to get his bug fixed and it's like it's not happening <clears throat> uh, so. And so what do we do? I mean, we, we now have to go to King Shard instead of yeah. Willow, you know, for that turn meter down and stun. For sure. Yep. Uh, Doom, thoughts on Kilowog? I, okay, with the bug, I agree. He's way low, right? But I feel like even with the bug fixed, even with him hitting harder, I feel like he's been crept out also. I feel like he would be a strong B, but I feel like he would still be B because, like, targeted stun... Sure, it's great, but we have so many characters now that can do AOE stuns for multiple turns. It's not that impactful. Turn meter down is fine, I guess, but what? He's only 125 speed, right? Nowadays, that's pretty average. Like, sure, he'll hit harder, but his passives don't really bring that much to the table. 
Uh, his shield is fine, but he has to live long enough to press it. And I don't see his basic being enough of a contender to where you would even slot him in against a lot of other greens. So he doesn't kill things fast enough. His stun, I feel like, isn't as valid or needed in the current meta, given the plethora of other options that we have. And I don't feel like he really brings anything else in. Oh, this I'm going to show you why he's A tier. Yeah, his, the cakes. BFF, I get it. Because of his BFF. No, because his BFF Connor needs him. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I'll say this. Kilowog, B from the front, A from the back. That's my opinion. <laughs> but right now, he's a C tier, too, so... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I would agree, I guess, somewhat. I mean, he, you know, possibly high B, low A, if he was working correctly. Um, I, I do think, you know, it's discounting a little bit of your kind of being able to target a uh, certain tune on stun while you're also turn metering down everybody else um so i do i mean i i actually would value that a lot and i i would do that a lot prior but yeah i mean i, I think you know once he's fixed high b maybe low a um but yeah right now it's just i mean it's it's rough i mean so seats here so sorry kilowog you're dropping yeah yep. so let me go ahead and give a little bit of extra thing on why I don't feel like that targeted stun is as valuable, right? Not only is there a lot of other options, but teams nowadays are so stacked with threats that stunning one person doesn't always end up being enough. Like, if you're fighting an Atrocitus team, who do you stun? What, you stun Super the Supergirl? Girl. Okay, cool. Then, like, five of your other teammates are retaliating in. You stun Atrocitus, Supergirl's popping off. Like, there's a lot of teams out there right now where targeting the stun just isn't enough anymore you need to be able to disable multiple people or you need to be able to do it without doing damage and kilowog doesn't do either i would absolutely stun supergirl in in that comp though yeah yeah that's a no brainer um, yeah. Oh, yeah no i mean it's an obvious question that was kind of a gimme but yeah. you get what i mean like she's not the only threat on the table and just stunning one person versus like i could run to sod and just stun everybody well, if you have dark side, yeah, and you need dark side to go faster, so you also need Martian Manhunter and probably B twelve. But then you run into the fact of it's gonna like you don't have enough firepower to probably really be able to to stop them at that point. I mean, you have to really lean on dark side to try to do a lot of heavy lifting of that. Right, but if you're packing Kilowog, are you going to be doing enough damage with him versus someone else? So that's that's just my input, though. I feel like yeah. if stuff is sure. non damaging, sure. If it was a non-damaging stun that applied the turn meter down and did the stunning, absolutely, he'd be an easy A. But the fact that it damages only stuns one person, I don't think that's enough. Especially just at 125 speed, I feel like that's kind of sluggish. But that's just me. Let's move on. Yeah, so we got, well, he's at C now. So uh, we have that, and then we'll have to, once he starts working again, we'll have to test him out and, and, and talk about him some more. Uh, so next up, we have uh, there's a, we have Let's several tunes that we, here. yeah we have several here. tunes that we wanted to just talk about just because they hadn't been talked about in a while and we wanted to see you know do we think they're going to go up or down um, and so we have Batman TDK um, it looks like uh, M4 myself Hawkeye I'll put him at C he was prior B. Um, <coughs> We do not have the community ranked loaded, but almost has him at B. And um, I can so almost, and I can explain. I can explain why almost has him at B. I can so explain. Almost, what are your thoughts? Yes. <laughs> well, mine's RB five. Yes. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I like that rework. It's good. He even even when he was reworked and I had him at L five, he, he slaps. He does. You know? I, he totally I slaps. Ramps up. He can take and take hits. I mean, yeah, at L at L five, but I mean at RB five can really what take it. Yeah, I mean, like, and and I think he's still effective, especially against Tonics. He might have cost me a TOL championship. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for reminding me <laughs> against you, went for. Um, yeah, I, I I I don't think C is fair for him. I think he's still a very effective tomb. Uh, 
Doom, what are your thoughts? I know Doom's I know Doom's a TDK fan because actually I watched a YouTube video of you and Kage, and you were showcasing him, and that was before his rework. So let me preface this by saying that I also have an RV five TDK, <laughs> but it's it's tough for me, man. I'm sorry, almost it's real tough for me because. He is good. He is very effective at what he does. The only problem with him is that stopping a taunter just does not tend to be as good as killing a taunter. And he can kill a lot of taunters. But I find lately he's just not putting out that action for me. Now, that being said, I would rank him at a low B still. I still think that he is a character that does a thing that no other character does. Like, Tantra <laughs> pops up and he's immediately, right? Like, that thing's getting stunned, all of its immunities are getting removed. Um, who's the person that's saying that he's not good against soups? That person needs to learn how to play the game because he is an absolute god against soups. He said He said that he is a good against soups. He is good against soups. Oh, okay. Well, good. You no know, need for the rant. You deserve the best things, and I'm sorry that I went at you like that. But, <laughs> I don't know. I find like he is a very effective blue tier tune. There's a lot of taunters out there that he completely manhandles. He can take a lot of hits. And I mean, like, a lot, a lot of hits. Uh, yeah. So he's an incredibly tanky tank demolisher. It's just a matter of how prevalent are tanks in the meta. Yeah, his rework month, um, that was also when Fire and Ice came out. And uh, Wonder Girl was a bonus tune. And I was surprised how much damage he did on Blues that month. You know, he was he was good. I mean, I think even then, the rest of you weren't impressed, but I definitely was. And I, so and we will asterisk this a little bit. You guys both also have an RB5. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I L5, like, I do not see him... Taking like if I had an L five TDK versus an L five Superman, he's not owning that match. Maybe RB five versus you know a, a lower tier Superman, but no. Um, I mean, yeah, RB five, like we'll RB five, he stomps yeah. <laughs> Um But yeah, my L five, like there, I, there's going to be very rare times that I would say, hey, I'm plugging him in. Um. Even when he was a siege tune recently, like I did, I don't think I used him at all. Um, but M four Hawkeye, what are your guys' thoughts? For me personally, when I'm reaching for something to deal with Superman or you know that other annoying Tonner, I- I'm bringing somebody like Spectre that's just gonna pull everything off, stun him, and just leave everything wide open. Uh, just my personal opinion, you know, and then Spectre's going to bring other things to the table besides just dealing with the Donner. But you could bring both. <laughs> Why do I need both, though? Yes, you don't, but it's <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. We have Can't argue three with that C's logic. To two Bs. So I sorry, guess. TDK. You even know, even with your RB five self, you're you're going down to C. Um, next up, Chemo. He was B tier prior when we voted. Um, again, I don't see the community rank on here. Um, we all have him at C. Doom. Any any color commentary on Chemo? I'm surprised you guys kept him as B for as long as you did. I don't know what else he does except for put Dooms out and. And die. That's not. We need less of those. Needs, yeah, his retaliation is kind of a pain in the ass if he hits the wrong tune. But yeah, I bet uh, I, I don't. I, I'm not. Again, I'm not a fan. I, I have him C tier. So I, I, I mean, I put him in T. Honestly, I think that he's really, really bad. He's power crept. Severely power crept. I no innate immunity. Right. He's not very tanky on the physical side. He's a green tune in a meta where blues are basically running the ramshackle across everything. He's not living a Supergirl hit. What does he do? He puts out some dooms and very minimal debuffs. We could can just be cleansed off if the match isn't over by then. His retaliation, yeah, sure, it hurts a little bit, but if you're not running someone made out of paper, then it's not going to matter. 
His three is never going to get used because he's 105 speed. His two is basically useless and also never going to get used. Now, mind you, if he gets a turn, sure, Fallout's huge. Meter drain, three speed downs, hallelujah. He actually does something. But if, is that all you're spending that turn on when he comes into play? Heck no. Replace him. Literally bring any other green tank. He is the worst green tank. By far, in my opinion, no exception. Yeah, that's why you put him behind B12, and that way both of those overpowered tunes make each other better. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like he's going to C tier. Um, so, sorry, Kimo, you're dropping down from B to C. Next up, we're going to talk about Raven. Before we do that, would we consider oh. trashing him? Because he's fairly useless, right? He's very bad. Oh. But is he as bad as... Uh... Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, no matter who you said, he is worse than them, except for damage good. <laughs> oh, man. I will save you the time. There I is can't. no character in this game that is not a movie tune that he is not worse than. I feel bad because he now looks good. After all these years, finally got a good skin, but he sucks. That's true. True. I do have enough uh, damage goods frags to RB. But it's never gonna happen. <laughs> All right, so I guess he's gonna have to uh, settle for C. Okay, so Raven, we had B prior. Uh, <coughs> All of us uh, unanimous at C. Um, you know, Hawkeye, any any thoughts on Raven before we get Doom's input? Um, I, I mean, I actually really enjoyed using her in the last Coliseum. Um, her three, I think it is, is actually pretty effective um, when dealing with the evasion tunes, it felt like. Um, but, you know, I, I think in the meta as a whole, I just don't think that she has a, uh, a real spot. So that's why I think she definitely moves down to C. I think she's just missing, like, one or two things uh, that could uh, bring her way up into the rankings, but it's just not there. And that one thing is that usefulness, right? No, she has usefulness. She has utility. <laughs> it's just like everything, if it was tweaked just like a couple percent higher on everything, I feel like she would be uh, pulling the, better things off. The passive, the passive heal doesn't quite work the way her active when it's actively used, and that 45% crit chance is not enough to protect people. Nope. And mine's RB5. Okay, Doom, what are your thoughts? She definitely belongs in C. She is actively detrimental, right? She has pre rework Supergirl issue where crit chance or down is not... That's, that's just not doing it. It's not... You want them to crit you nowadays with Supergirl and everyone else, and if I don't want them to crit me, I have Aquaman. That is such... I can't believe they didn't get rid of that. We suggested so many things to replace that. Absolute garbage. Otherwise, she's fine. She's a healer that punches herself in the face. She gets death immunity, which is just pulled off by 90% of the cast. C tier is too good for her, but C is fine right now. All right, that's unanimous then. Yep, going to C. Okay, next up, Star Sapphire. She was B. This makes me sad. Again, yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, I, I was really high on her when she first got reworked. But, again, I think power crap, uh, Meta's kind of run away from her a little bit, too. But um, we all have her at C. Any, you know, M4, you want to kind of give your thoughts? Men's suck. <laughs> uh, getting men's versus getting heal is, a, is two different things. Getting men's and then not getting thirds is not going to help your team, so... And she really needs to get rid of the black spandex. If she removes those, I'll, I'll vote her to be. Okay, and uh, Doom, what about you? C tier, unfortunately, also. Mins just aren't that great. I mean, sure, you get a little bit of crit immunity, but I just don't see it, honestly. Which does also make me sad, because she was one of those tunes that I used to be really high on. 
back when like G10 was a thing, mind you, but still she used to have so much value. And you know, it's just it's just not there. I feel like if it were a hundred percent chance and it was light heal instead of men's, she'd be tons better. But as she is now, it's just not happening. Okay, so uh, Star Sapphire, you're dropping down to C. So next up, we have Swamp Thing. Uh, we got a little bit of a mix on here. Uh, so M4 and Almost have Swamp Thing in B tier. That's where he was prior. Um, Hawkeye and myself has him have him at C. Um, Hawkeye, what are your what are your thoughts on Swamp Thing? He has a move that is twelve percent chance to use uses a basic at the end of all allies' turns. What the fuck is 12% going to do for you? Wait, it's, tri it's tripled if he's overhealed. It's 36%. <laughs> What's 36% going to do for you, it's still, it's, it's still bad. <laughs> yes, it's still bad. But if he does have some redeeming qualities, I don't have to, to bump him down to see. I mean, he just got a stat boost, right? And with the... What you call this? The disease heavy meta, debuff meta, the extra purges, free purges, which, which comes with uh, what you call that uh, crit chance ups. It's absolutely kind of. Oh. I don't know so, if three purges is helping anything in this meta. <laughs> <laughs> and also uh, he has the per uh, permanent bleed, which can kind of enable people and also helps with those dudes that you can't hit. Because let's say you have like a problem. Uh, let's, say you, let's say you didn't plan very well, and somehow forgot to bring a can't miss against Dawnstar. So those five permanent bleeds gonna help you not run into a stalemate. So just those little things. So he's not C, but he's really not. He could use another rework. He's one of the early reworks. So cut, cut him some slack. Uh, Doom. So you're the tiebreaker. What are your thoughts? This man with this 2015 ass kit, you really want me to vote this guy into B <laughs> again? What is this? 3% true overheal. Ooh. Now, to his credit, when he hits his gate, he does have a higher chance to call himself than Brainiac has to call anybody for an assist. But otherwise, let's see. Oh, boy. A revive. Ooh, that's prevalent in this meta. Oh, wait. It's not even guaranteed Guaranteed. for all of his allies disgusting you get what one awareness Ooh, and then yeah sure five permanent bleeds matches are totally lasting more than three turns in this current thing heck no put him in c okay so sorry swamp thing you're dropping down to uh the c tier. tier okay so now uh we have a few which some of these might actually be pretty uh pretty highly debatable should make it a little fun um so first tune that we have that we're going to talk about is Aquaman KOA, uh, so King of Atlantis. Uh, S tier, I'm assuming, even though I don't see c community on here, I'm assuming S tier on there as well. Um, S tier prior rankings that we've had. Um, Before I think... you give the feedback on what everyone else has, just because I'm going to sit this one out, do you mind if I give what I think? Sure, go for it. I think he's an A tier. I don't think he's really pulling enough weight. Disease is super prevalent. Even when people aren't critting, they're still demolishing teams. And mind you, he does have fantastic comps. He does counter turn meter down, but that's really not an issue anymore. And I don't see him really pulling his way back into S anytime soon, unless something drastically changes. Yeah, and so yeah, we all uh, said A. So, I mean, I, I think, you know, the meta has changed. Uh, it's no longer speed, and and yes, yeah, like he does do some cool things, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I still I would have him high A tier um, for sure, but I, I don't I don't see him as S tier any longer. Um, and okay. so, anybody else have anything they want to kind of add about KOA? Just I, one I th thing. Just uh, oh, go ahead, almost you yeah, go first. I I think he could credit basically the disease meta for this demotion. Because anything, if he speeds up your team, it's detrimental. Um, like, you don't need to get hit hard with him. It's basically, you, you will disease out now because of Trigons and Cheshires. So he's, 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 he's becoming, a, he's more or less becoming a liability in that sense. He is. Uh, I, I was going to point out my uh, 
it my quarters from? Or anyway, one of my TOL runs where I struggled to use him on my boards and I've tried to find like easy matches where I can slot him in because he's so detrimental to your teams against the meta that I kind of oh, okay this is a team where I can slot him in not just not not to be useful just so he doesn't die or make or be bad for my team just to put him in so I could use him because he's mandatory to be used uh, twice right so yeah it, it's the meta shifted that much that He's almost all detrimental to your teams. You can, can't stop Atro, you can't stop Trigon Cheshire. So what is he really stopping those 2020 and earlier tunes, right? So Black Flash, that's it. Right, right. Uh, Ted Cord. <laughs> yeah. Great Ted Cord oh, yeah. counter. Oh, sorry, what were we saying, Hot Guy? Uh, he's a great Ted Cord counter as well. Mm-hmm. Which is really weird to say, Ted Cord counter. <laughs> house better but sure he does counter ted well i mean he counters ted the entire match not just for the first you know turn or two right so so the difference between koa and and house you know if you don't i mean because if you crit then you get stun immunity right so if you know if you hit if you hit a team under how then you could you won't stun him but you can still get stun immunity on your team Yeah. Yeah, sure. so that's the only difference. Yeah, but we all agree he kind of, like, is fallen out of favor now. So. Yeah. He's lucky to be A. I can even see him slide to be down the road. Yeah, yeah so he's he's A. So drop down from S to A. So next one uh, we have is Dark Side. Uh, so again, was prior S. I'm assuming S under, I believe, or last I looked, I, I believe he was S for the community. Uh, we all have it A right now. Uh, Doom, any thoughts on Dark Side? Sorry, I was handling a thing. Uh, I mean, I think he's S still, but also it's, you know, I think that A could be fine. He's very low S if he stays S. He's very high A if he goes A. Yeah, he's a bit power crept at this stage of the game. Well, he's also kind of a liability to, like, KOA against like, the current meta. He's not a... Right, because he speeds himself up. Exactly. Okay, so dark side, you are A tier now. So next up, we have Superman we wanted to talk about. So we wanted to throw, kind of check out some of the old S tiers. Uh, Why don't you go? This is your guy. I mean, look, like, uh, I think um, when you look at how the current meta is, he purges himself of things. Like, really, like, stun is one of the only things that stops him. He doesn't give a shit about speed uh, teams. Like, if you hurt anybody else around him and he's not stunned, I mean, he can punch around, turn zero, stun... Um, you know, adding stuns like crazy, hits, ramps like crazy. Like, I, I still think he is S tier, regardless of what else is going on. I mean, like, in, <laughs> um, he deals with, he deals with Trigon. He can deal with Cheshire. Like, you know, he, you know, has the ability to deal with all these individuals. Um, I, I think that when you look at leaders in the game, I mean, he's still, I mean, what, him and Nightwing? Probably the best? No. Nope. Um, and so, yeah, I left him at S tier. Everybody else moved him to A. Um, so, uh, obviously, I'm not going to have a shot, no matter what. But, Doom, what are what are your thoughts? Let's let everyone else get their inputs in before I start. Go ahead, everybody. <laughs> okay. uh, I'll go next. Because I, I heard something that triggered me. Nightwing. Nightwing at L5 versus RB5 is barely any different hits slightly harder but he does his job at uh, l5 unlike superman at l5 he just go he's just gonna die and i don't know how you use him against trigon because he's a liability against trigon trigon loves feasting on his uh, di's he just sucks them and then now trigon <laughs> is unkillable uh and then superman i've been told at l5 doesn't quite hit as hard as our I, looking around here, I think all of us have RB5 soups. And even then, he's 
I it's don't. Not as good. Oh, I don't. don't. Oh, RB4 RB4 here. Here. <laughs> well, close enough, but yeah, even at elf RB5, he sometimes has a problem surviving when he steal his uh, immunities. And then also he's not as consistent as the other leaders as that protecting, especially taunt nowadays is not enough to stop people from hitting your uh, the other tunes, right? Taunt star ignores it. Monkey Prince ignores taunt. So Atro obviously does, you can't stop it because Supergirl and Atro does AOE. So Soups is still good. I don't think he's S tier good anymore. Well, so I'll counterpoint. You listed a few tunes that you said kind of go around him that are S tiers themselves. True. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he just can't hang with them anymore. Is what I'm saying. He's off the he's off the S tier club. He... Yeah, I mean, it, 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 <clears throat> he's worse to face than use. You know, I agree I, with that. Yes, yeah. I agree with that. You know, he's still better. annoying to face. Yes. Yeah. So Dan, what were your thoughts? Um, I would just say that, like, I just want everybody to realize that uh, while Burger's voting S, um, you could give him Aqua Momoa's kit, and Burger would still probably still vote Superman at least in A tier. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know if I totally agree with that. I think I had him like a high A before his rework. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is kind of like an intervention for you, Burger, because you're surrounded by friends who just want you to be able to accept the truth of things. You have to understand, this isn't healthy. So, Superman, I feel like I'm probably the best one equipped here, ironically, to get input on this, because mine's not even L5, it's L4. Mind you, it's still level 80, gear 11, all those nine yards, but he wasn't even worth me taking the final star on. This Man of Steel is a man of disappointments, right? So here's the thing. And I'm going a, I'm to a break this man down to the cellular <laughs> level. Here we go. First things first. If he pops off, he's great. Sure. So is literally every other character in the game. You don't think Asriel is good when he pops off? Sure. You hit him with a stun? Trash, right? Oh, man. WGD DT. That's really good when it pops off. If it doesn't, trash. Superman. Sure. He, oh, I might throw out a few punches on the first turn. That boy gets walled by Giganta. Do you know how bad you have to be to get walled by Giganta? You have to be real bad. <laughs> Let me bring my TDK into this mix. I don't care if it's an RB5 Superman or an L5 Superman. He's going into the dirt. He doesn't get a second turn. He pops his three, and that's his entire game plan, and it does nothing. He gets those buffs ripped, eaten, get a parasite in there, delicious get a trigon in there delicious all you can eat buffet this man is much like burgers thing tasty meaty treat for these people to feast on let's look at his damage damage on punches sure that's great it ain't no supergirl you're not bringing him oh yeah his three gives him some buffs eaten and barely relevant oh his two can't miss oh man never seen that before on a tune i wonder if we'll ever see another one Oh yeah, it does a little minuscule amount of true damage and then puts a couple of negative immunities on there. Oh, oh my god, what an amazing character. And then what? He purges all the debuffs off on himself. I'll credit you. That's good. Much like Brainiac, he has one thing going for him, and it's barely a thing. But it is one thing. You can't disease him out. But... So, so let, me, let me add this. So basically you said... You wouldn't bring him over Supergirl, which I'm assuming you're talking about Supergirl under Atrocitus. No, and multiple I'm items about in general. That you said multiple things in his kit. You basically said, I haven't seen others do that. You said that twice, but like he has them all in his same kit. Okay. So, like, he has Can't Miss, has, I mean, he does hit relatively hard. Yes, you can say if he gets stunned, what's he going to do? But. Most tunes in the game, if they get stunned, what are they gonna do? Okay. So, like, I, so I don't know. Like, all the points you said, like, his kit is pretty strong. In I'm not even halfway done. <laughs> <laughs> you have to understand that was just the appetizer. And, I haven't and even you kind of ruined it when you said you have him L4. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Should we be listening to your RB5 Superman ideologies here on a L5 presumed list? My bad. Uh, how about instead you listen to people who are actually on the ground level trying this character? Now then, before that rude interruption, let me continue. Oh, his leader, right? Oh, yeah, he's totally one of the two best leaders. Not like, you know, Atrocitus exists, or Nightwing exists, or Martian Manhunter exists, or, I mean, how Cheetah can even give your team a boost before him. Uh, let's see. What other great characters are there that can basically do his job but better? Hmm. Oh, I know. There's Penguin, who's faster, can turn meter down, can give tons of shields. Uh, sure, he doesn't hit as hard, I guess, but he basically does everything else better. Can actually steal buffs. Isn't an all-you-can-eat buffet for half the cast that's actively being used. Like, if your biggest complaint is, oh, a lot of the characters you mentioned happen to be S-tier, it's like, yeah, a lot of the most meddling pred... These people are in the meta. These are the people you're facing. Of course it's relevant to bring them up that they counter Superman, because they do. You're going to be bringing him in, and they're, he's basically going to be free food for them. Now then, let's go ahead and break down this man a bit more, right? So, let's say you're bringing Superman to a match, right? I see that Superman. I have so many options that I can bring to make him a completely irrelevant point that it's not even funny. Like, again, I mentioned just two off the bat. You got Parasite, you got TDK. Chomping it through, right? But what am I going to do when this character's popping off turn one? Oh, I know, I'll bring one of the 800 tanks that have an immunity that make it so that he can't kill me. And then, oh no, now there's a taunter on the other side of the field. Whatever will I do, probably rely on one of the other 9 billion characters with purges that can just strip it down and then, oh no, that's it. Oh wait, no, he might you know, counteract if I'm attacking his team. Too bad we exist in a meta where most of the team's not going to survive the first attack. Oh yeah, and I could also, oh wait, what's that most common debuff in the entire game? That's right, it's stun. 90% of the cast has that too. Ah, uh, so yeah, man, that's rough for Superman. Oh wait, but, you know, it'll be fine, because he's kind of fast. How fast is he? Let's take a look. See. Oh man, he's... 123 speed. Ooh, that was a nice clip back in 2019. Like, look, like this character was better before his rework. He actually could stand up and be annoying. As he is now, I look at him and I laugh. He's basically like bringing Brainiac without the turn meter up. He's completely irrelevant. This character basically sits there, taunts up once, and then does nothing for the rest of the match. And what's even better, right, is that if it just came down to the idea of okay you stun him and that's it whatever right but he can't even clutch things out right if you get him alone he's doing nothing he's sitting there at one hp sitting on immunities and might get one more move off that's it superman has zero potential outside of existing to be somewhat of a roadblock for his team which tons of characters do now that being said i think that he probably is one of the highest a tiers but i would not put him in s tier not in a million billion years and hopefully he never goes there again there are so many better characters there's more characters coming out yes i know i was being facetious when i said he's better than the the rework was better i know he's not don't worry that that was a joke that was tongue-in-cheek he's way better than his rework was i was just being oh, sassy but you, you reminded, reminded me of something one thing that really made him worse is that he used to be able to purge at the begin beginning of every turn. That really limited his get, because before he's literally impervious to debuffs, right? But now he's easy to deal with because he just, he stunned whatever, uh, hit chance down while, while waiting for his turn. Which really you know what's even crazier? It's not even guaranteed. It's only 85% chance. There is a right. chance that your Superman will keep those disease stacks and kill yep. his team. Yep, that's also bad. Before it's okay because he gets so many chances to purge, right? Disgusting. This what a joke this character. Anyone who would make this character their avatar obviously has something wrong with them. <laughs> well it's hard because he's power corrupt. <laughs> yeah, there's, I don't think there's very many people that can have him as their avatar. Mine is uh a Savitar, so <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but speaking you know, of sick jokes people, aside, like taking apart the rant and everything, I don't know. Superman's fine. Like again, he is very easy to deal with now. When he came out, and there were a lot less options, 
and it was a lot harder to just mow down his team around him, he was incredibly threatening. But nowadays, unless your team is stacked to the nines to save you from Atrocitus Supergirl or one of the other 800 teams that will just stack disease, eat your buffs, and just outlast you, I mean, he's good in the situations that he can be good in, but those situations are getting fewer and farther to between. A tier, that's my vote, obviously. You know, I had to give you guys a little bit of content. But, yeah, no, this character used to be good. He used to be great. Now, he's more like... What was that movie? Superman 3. He's in the wheelchair. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, are you okay, Burger? Hey, look, you also have Barda as a tier, so I mean, there, there you go. But um, <laughs> right. I think Barda is about as useful as Superman. Oof, that is insane. No, it's real. <laughs> Both of them are tanks that are ultimately irrelevant in the game. But uh, with Barda, at least if she's the last one standing, I can maybe win a two v one. Superman, if he's the last one standing, I'm just waiting for him to die. <laughs> Tell me, I'm wrong. You're wrong. Incredibly wrong. Lie through your teeth, Burger, and tell me. Barda, I'm wrong. you are wrong, dude. Damage. She cannot beat anybody. And every meta that you just be. pointed at, every meta that you just pointed at, nukes her even worse than him because she's not she's not dealing with everything that well. <laughs> so every th- single thing you just pointed at, does, at least he has the chance where most of the time he's purging those things. She has none of it, and you're saying yet. Yeah, she could deal with a team two on one. Yeah, because at the end of the day, there's a point where if you don't have the damage to kill her, you're just going to have to walk away from that match. With Superman, you never don't have the damage to kill him. You just wait. I know people can't hear, but I'm shaking my head now on this. But anyways, <laughs> That's he's, fun. he's A tier. Uh, he, he obviously fell down to A tier. Um, and we will move on to Dr. Destiny. So we, uh, I think wrongfully so, he was voted yes. B last time we did it. Uh, but now, as everybody's had time to use him, he's at A tier. Um, anybody, you know, I know Hawkeye was, was one of the ones voting B last time. But actually, I think Hawkeye and almost. Uh, so what made you guys change your mind and move him to A tier? Just got to use him more. Uh, he was he was a absolute stud in the uh, Coliseum for Arkham last time. Um, you know, it, occasionally when we have to do a quick judgment, we're going to get him wrong. We we missed with this one. Justice for Doctor Destiny. There you go. Yeah. Now now we can finally. Um, I'll stop passing out the T-shirts for Justice for for John D. Um, Doom, what are your thoughts on, on Dr. Destiny? Uh, I don't know. I think he's A tier. He's good. I mean, looking at him, obviously he slaps. But, yeah, no, I think that the snap judgment, I understand. It was lower. You only had so much time. But, yeah, I feel like after a bit of usage, a bit of trying, A is fair. And next up, we are looking at, so we talked about him a little bit earlier, uh, Desaad. Uh, he was A tier prior. Um, we have, I believe the community has him A tier as well. Um, looks like M4 is leaving him A tier. Um, we, almost Hawkeye and I all put him as B. Um, I think he's incredibly good, but I think he's, again, he's a, he's a, to get them to get the absolute most out of him to where I would say, hey, he's A, which kind of defeats the purpose of making somebody A, is you have to have him underneath Dark Side. Um, and so so again, I, you know, I, I put B, um, almost Hawkeye, any other anything you guys want to add about why you put him as B? I, I mean, he's in the same category as Brainiac for me. He, you know, you're bringing him for one thing and one thing only, and that's his three. Um, you know, it's a very, very effective party trick, but uh, at the end of the day, it's not anything that's um, by himself going to stand alone. You know, and especially getting uh, teams, getting tunes now like Ted Cord, who can do it, and then also do other things after he gets a two-turn stun. 
you know, it's kind of a no-brainer to demote him at this point. M4, you left him as A. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I can, I can live with that. I mean, he's kind of like at the edge. He's, it's just a win that one good one thing is so good. It's, you know, it kind of like makes you second guess whether he's really uh, low A or high B. I just need towards the high A, uh, low A because when he works, like it's it's literally game over. Like you stun version, like they're reset. There's nothing they can do. You just pick them off. But yes, I can see the counter argument that you need to bring Dark Side, who's now demoted as a as an A tier tune. So before our argument was like, yeah, oh my god, it is it really that bad to bring Dark Side? But now maybe it's not the best thing to bring Dark Side in. Uh, they saw it this year, basically half your team is already spent for that combo. Yeah, I mean, generally, even when you're bringing dark side, like you have to take like Martian Manhunter or somebody else as well. Right, so just to go fast. Right. Yeah, just because if not, like you're going to probably get smacked by somebody on the other team. Um, but Doom, what, uh, what are your thoughts? So just to make sure, this is still a siege tier list, right? Not... It's more no, it's driven PvP. by that, but not necessarily. But so it's just in-game PvP in the general sense. Yeah, yeah I mean it's yeah. Yeah, like overall is... I got See, you. Just then, kind of, yeah, I would probably put him. I mean, if this were ordered, I would actually put him below Brainiac because he does one thing really well, and actually he technically does two things really well, but they're both the same thing. So it might as well just be one. Yeah. But you know, like that passive stun cracking off at the start of a turn. I mean, it could be good. It could pop off, sure. But at the end of the day, you have to bring him with somebody. That's that's trademark B. That he needs the support. There's no way he can be A by himself. And again, mind you, M4 100% right. When that thing pops off, it's game over. The game's done. It's basically just an inevitability at that point. But otherwise, not. Nah, I just don't see it. I mean, well, he needs support to be able to support. I mean, that makes him worse than Brainiac. Yeah, that's why I said I put him below. Yeah, yeah. It's... Okay, so I get he it's settled. He's a B. Yep. Okay, so we we obviously went pretty long uh, today, uh, but I, I think we had a lot of good conversations and everything. So, um, you know, before we, uh, you know, kind of wrap up, any B. It will kind of go around the horn. Have anybody have any closing words? So you know, we'll start off with uh, almost. You got anything? Uh, well, raids are almost over. I hope you got your uh, your final milestone. Hope your alliance did well. Um, we got another siege happening in just over an hour, and I don't know. I think it's gonna suck. At the end, I, I have nothing left to say. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hot guy. What about you? Um, I mean, overall, you know, I think that uh, people just need to keep their heads up. We got the uh, new chaos calendar. You know, me and Doom had an episode that we released about this the other day, and um, you know, a lot of people are like, "Oh, it's the, it, it's a sign of the end." It, and to me, it's more of a sign that they're trying to make the game better for players and. Um, you know, trying to give us give something back to the players that have given so much to the game. So that's ultimately my big thing is just, you know, stop with the negativity, enjoy what we got, enjoy it for as long as we can. You know, it's okay to to want more and want better, but at the same time, uh, don't be negative about it. Okay. Uh, M4. All right. I'm going to say what uh, Hawkeye has in mind, but didn't want, didn't have a chance to say. If you're given a calendar like this, please don't look at the red ring. Look at the others. Uh, there's, there's so many things good this month. So I know that the devs take us on a roller coaster. Break something and then give us something great, fix, and then break something again. But I think they're really trying. I'm just uh, trying to echo what Hawkeye's saying. Uh, let's stay a little positive. I don't think the game is ending. Uh, but I, I'm going to expound on uh, what uh, Doom and Hawkeye said on the on their podcast um the last time they gave us something like this like a ton of resources in 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 the past it was a ton of le we got rebirth so i don't know what they're prepping us for i don't want to think about it because i don't want to be disappointed if it's a lot of nothing but it something is in the air i don't know what it is but it seems to be something and i don't think it's the game ending 
I mean, why would they just, you know, develop a new raid just to kill it in a month or two, right? It just makes zero sense to me. So I think it's them trying to do something, but I don't know what that something is. So, okay, that for what it did. Yeah, and Doom, what about you? It felt good to kill Superman with my bare hands. It was it was a good time. <laughs> Martha. But otherwise, it was a fantastic time to join you guys. Finally, I kept flaking on it, which my apologies am for. I know I've said I'd be on this like twenty times, but. It's nice to chill out with you guys and listen to your somewhat correct, somewhat wrong opinions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I understand that I'm a divisive figure at times, so I hope you guys uh, can find a little good and bad with me. But definitely, in terms of this calendar, again, going to echo it. Stay positive. That's 120,000 gems in your pocket. There's literally never been a better time to be a new player in this game. I don't know how many new players listen to this, but you're getting so many unlocks. You're getting so many tunes that are really good for raid too, like Doomsday. That's going to be your go-to for your red raids from now on, basically. So, you know, take what you can get and enjoy it. Get the most out of it, definitely, because we don't know if this is ever coming back. It would be nice if it did, but at the end of the day, WB kind of ain't the most consistent place so we will do what we can and i hope you guys do what you can too just ignore the 100 superman shards you don't need it i mean superman's still good if you're at the lower <laughs> levels of power, you know and if you I don't am, know any better i'm kidding i, I love Bird. you could take him to l5 <laughs> yes there you go dude there you go maybe you, i mean i maybe have enough fragments different... to do it yeah, I, he's, he's just gonna, not worth the he's gonna be on next month he's gonna be at yeah. guys i just got yeah. those hundred shards He's yes, L5, please. and guess what? You'll be singing a different tune <laughs> if you take him to L5. You're just I'm one highly there. doubtful. I think the only thing he's missing is the 10% true heal legendary, which, like, whatever. Oh, that that's really game-breaking good to do. Trust, no, trust, it really trust, isn't. That's burger. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, no, look, it, it, obviously it's great having having people that, you know, are big in the community uh, getting on and being able to hear a bunch of different perspectives. You know, I, I always, uh, I, you know, I think it's always great anytime we can do that. And, and look, like at the end of the day, um, we're all getting to get together and talk about tunes that we grew up with, tunes that we love, obviously tunes that we're passionate about. Um, I, I personally love uh, that most of the changes and most of the tweaks that uh wb is getting um i would encourage everybody out there like when things happen um it seems like it's always easier to post about the bad right and you know things that that we hate but try to stop and talk about the things that that are good and try to share those things that that are good and um for most of us you know it's things like you know our alliances and the people that yeah, we get to interact with every day and share the best parts about our lives in and out of the game. Um, and so, yes, to just you know try to make sure that that we have some time to be able to soak up and, and share some of the positivity that's out there. And so um, with that, everybody, thank you guys for uh, listening to us today and getting to, getting together with us. And um, if you guys can, you know, I, I know M4 is sharing this on Twitch, you know, hit him with a subscriber or two. And uh but thanks, guys, for everything. And, and with that, we'll wrap up and we'll talk to you guys next time. All right. Thanks, everyone.